Yeah, welcome again today. We're looking at a question on business data analysis. <clears throat> Specifically, we're looking at a question covering. Yeah, so we deal with this question for regression and correlation analysis. So the question reads: uh, Mr. Rajab Omar is a marketing manager of Tintex Limited. He gathered the data on a number of salespeople engaged in a month and uh, the sales made in the last 10 months of the year 2022 and given the year and the months december the number of sales and the sales in shillings so we are required to estimate the total sales function using the ordinary least squares so this is a regression equation predict the sales made in the month of january 2023 when 19 sales people are engaged remember 19 will be our x and this will be our y coefficient of correlation interpret your results and coefficient of determination interpret your results so in uh, excel when you're dealing with the uh, uh, regression analysis we need to use uh, to go to data and in this case you don't have that particular tab for data analysis so to activate it uh, we shall come to file and we go to account not even account but options under options we go to add ins under add ins we come to manage add excel add ins we go to go and we shall click these two the analysis tool pack and analysis tool pack vba i put ok and i wait and you'll find that now the tab for data analysis has appeared here so i'll click this tab for data analysis and I will find the regression here. The regression. I will click regression. So there are several items here. Starting with ANOVA single factor, ANOVA two factor with replication, ANOVA correlation, covariance. But because we need the regression, it will give me the regression and I put OK. So when you're dealing with regression, we need to input the value for Y. Input now the range for x so the range for y it ranges from here here to that value and the input for x is this one to that value that is our x and uh, the confidence level in this case is 95 the output range where i need this to be i'll just put it here no so this one was the input for y which was this one so this one we just put under that my output range and i don't need all these others eh? but if we need to line the, to plot the residual so it can be able to have a line fit plots it can be able even to give you the line float assuming we include even the line fit but you don't need this just need the regression and i'll put okay and you will see that is uh, our analysis our regression analysis the summary output of our regression the multiple r we given the multiple r the r squared we've been given there are adjusted standard error the observations are 10 we given the regression and the residual this is an ANOVA the intercept and uh, the x variable that we have there and uh, we'll find that yeah that way so we just needed the regression equation and uh, if you were to answer roman one for our regression our regression equation will be y is equals to uh, this value here okay so we shall have y is equals to 5.440729 plus this value here the x value 1 1.4430 1.43465 x that will be our regression equation and uh, number two if you were to predict predict the sales made in the month of January when 19 sales people are engaged 
yeah so here we'll take y to be is equals to here uh this one uh, and a yard this one but this one i'll open the bracket multiplied by so this one multiplied by by what 19 people by 19 people to me include bracket here that way and i enter so my y will be that will be the sales made in the january and their shillings in a thousand uh, for our correlation Roman 3 for the correlation uh, R our R value will be this the multiple the multiple R the multiple R is our um, correlation multiple R is our correlation that value and uh, the coefficient of determination which is r squared roman 4 our r squared r squared r squared which will be is equal to this value r r squared and the correlation interpret to your results so if you have to interpret this we have a high so we say we have a high positive high positive correlation high positive correlation between the between number of cells between number of sales people number of sales people of sales people and cells number of sales people and cells and uh, for the second one, uh, when you're interpreting uh, the coefficient of determination, here, interpretation, you normally have what you call the rule of thumb. So when you're interpreting the R squared, the rule of thumb, if R squared lies between 75 to 100, it's a very good model. 60 to 74, a good model. 50 to 59, satisfactory. Below 50 is normally a poor model, a very poor model. So in our case, if we are coming back, uh, we'll find that we have 0 0.82. This is a very good model. Yeah. So it is a very good model. Very good model. For prediction. For prediction. Prediction. Because 8298 82.98% of the variation will be explained by the model will be explained by the model it is very good model for prediction because it a 2.98% of the variation will be explained by the model yeah by the model so that's how that question was supposed to be done just format that normally like using the times times new roman and uh, 12 and then to be well visible so that's how we were to do that question for regression for regression equation and answering our our questions that we had there this is an over yeah explaining the why the regression the prediction and so on thank you for your time